Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. It's almost time for another one of my Windows Phone 7 Wednesday uh, post, and this week I'm going to cover five Twitter applications. It's actually four full applications and one that works with Twitter. So, um, as you see, I do have quite a few applications. Let's start off, I guess, with just the uh, the traditional and uh, standard, which is the Twitter official application. And then I'll kind of give you a summary at the end of which one is currently my favorite. So here's the f official Twitter application. And one thing that you'll see is that uh, this is not a multitasking operating system at this time. So you have to wait for it to load once it comes up. And as you can see, this is very similar to what you might see on some of the other platforms, the, the look and feel kind of. Uh, right now it has the Metro look though as well. So we have Timeline here. If we tap the More button down here, it's the three dots icon. We see there's ability for search, uh, message, compose, refresh, profile, and settings. If we go to settings, you can see it's just uh, create account or add account. Slide over, you can talk about the username, the font size, the rotation, um, image quality, hashtags, location, and then services. What do you want to use for your picture? TwitPic, TweetPhoto, YFrog, and then about. And then also you can have a dark or a light theme. I'll keep it on light because it won't uh, switch anyway. So then you would see timeline, mentions, slide across, there's messages, lists, timeline again. And auto rotate too if I have it set up. There it goes. So that's the uh, traditional Twitter application. Looks nice, works pretty well. Um, I've been fairly happy with it. However, there was another application that um, I actually started off with before this, which was Seismic. Now, Seismic is on most uh, most of the smartphone platforms as well. And it started out, it didn't have support for the native keyboard. So I tried it right away, immediately stopped trying it once it didn't have the keyboard support because it wouldn't uh, predict and things like that. However, that's all been fixed with the new on the settings in Seismic. You can see what, uh, you can choose what media services you want. TwitPic or YFrog, Bitly, uh, credentials there, display how many um, updates you want loaded at once, um, automatically share your location, some advanced ones, which is just send crash data. Um, okay, go back. And you, one thing you can set up with, uh, if we tap on plus, you can set up a Twitter or a Facebook account um, and have these different spaces for different Twitter accounts and Facebook accounts. I don't use it for Facebook, I'll just show you the Twitter. So here's the Twitter client. Again, this is not multitasking. And at this time, um, the default Twitter client and this Seismic client, neither one have uh, Toast, which are the ones notifications that come across the top, or Live Tile notifications. And neither one um, shows the conversation view, which is actually pretty important to me. So there is uh, room for improvement in both of these applications so far. Uh, if we get if we tap the more we see there's refresh search post and settings now again post you can see at the bottom there's shorten URL location and image so you can add images and it's the same for Twitter <laughs> the, the official Twitter client again it has the Metro UI so you've got home replies messages lists uh, your profile and then back home again and you know, it's a nice client, basic client, pretty much uh, similar to Twitter. Not a whole lot of differences. So now we have a couple more clients, and the next one that actually has become my favorite until actually there was one that released today. So this one is Bees. Now this one actually does have Toast and Live Tile support. The only missing feature for me personally in Bees is there's no conversation view which is something I really like. Um, so you tap on settings here, you can see that you can have home notifications, toast mentions, and toast direct messages. Okay. You cannot set up the, uh, from what I can tell, you can't set up what uh, service you want for your photos. If you come in here, you can see there's search, refresh, new, and photo. If I tap on photo, 
you can see it goes into the camera roll, you can grab a picture, and then it puts it in line, you know, and then you can um, add something to that, and it would put it up, post it up there. And I believe it's TwitPic, but I, I'm not sure. I have to go back and check that again. Whoops. Don't care to do a search. So Bees is a pretty nice app. Kind of looks like Twitter. Um, you know, it has some animations on the bottom. We tap on New. We see options here are also Photo. Um, I don't believe there's geolocation on here. Again, we have Timeline, Mentions, Messages, My Tweets, Followers and Friends, and then your Profile. So there's a, a, a bit more in the uh, in the Metro UI on this application, which is all so let's see also in the list here as you can see different things and then you'll see when the new tweets come in it has a red number on there and if we go back out oh I don't have a pin to start right now but if it was pinned to start it would also show it on the uh, start menu as well so a new one that I just found today is $1.99 it's all the other ones are free I believe um, I believe they're all free I'll, I'll check that in my post but the new one today for $1.99 is Birdsong. Okay, there is a free trial, um, so you can get a feel for it. However, you can't post with a free trial. So this is uh, Birdsong. It's starting up right now. Now what you'll see up top is there's a notification. Right now I have set up for a home, uh, mentions, direct messages, and then a search. <clears throat> so you can have different song, different. Um, pages and they have the notifications for how many are in each one <coughs> excuse me it's that time of year if I tap on more here we see there's a new cancel search favorites profile settings and accounts if you go to accounts multiple accounts are coming soon it's not there yet this is the fir first version they said they are actually have version 1.1 coming out uh, I believe in a week or so if we tap on settings so here you can have up to five timelines and you drag these to order them right so I, I have a Windows Phone 7 search if you tap on the plus you can add a list add a save search or add a new search and that is what uh, that's what I showed you here home mentions <clears throat> messages and then Windows Phone 7 this is the Windows Phone 7 search, so this will always go through the different search part. And as you can see here, again, we have search, refresh, favorites, and your profile. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go back home. So one thing that you'll see is a lot of these have this little icon over in the right there. A <coughs> uh, little kind of conversation icon. If we tap on this, right? It says it's a reply to. We tap on the reply to. And there we go. This is a great conversation view. The best I've seen. The conversation view is actually pretty important to me. And I won't show you a direct message, but the direct message is actually the same kind of thing uh, with you and your buddy going back and forth. And as you can see, it has uh, the, I, the Twitter icons of the people and the conversation back and forth. What I'll also show, if I can find one with, a, um, with an embedded picture, with a supported client. <coughs> so embedded pictures, geotagging, things like that. I'll, I'll try to find a geotag one as well if I can. Uh, there's a Y frog one. Okay, so we tap on here. What you'll see is you can have you'll show inline pictures with supported uh, clients. Now let's see if there's somebody has a geotagged one. <clears throat> or a Foursquare check-in or something like that. I don't know. If I'm, well, there's a video of, uh, of this that I'll put into the post um, from them that shows that as well. So if I want to do a new one, I tap on New. Right Now the options here are, again, add a picture or, you know, tap away. If we add a picture... Again, you select a picture, and this actually uses TwitPic for their pictures as well. And back on out. 
So this is kind of interesting, you know, it has the different notifications, it has a nice view. I've been using this one lately because, or all today, because I really like the conversation view, and that's something that's important to me. And, uh, you know, if they can bring uh, notifications, toast, and uh, live tiles, that would be great. So there's four choices uh, for Twitter clients, which is great on Windows Phone 7. There's one other client that's related to Twitter, just to round out my top five that I have to put in every week for my Windows Phone 7 Wednesdays. This one's called Pick O Twit. So if we tap on this, this one you would uh, log in with your Twitter account and you simply use it to uh, send pictures to TwitPic. Right. It's not a full Twitter application, um, however I wanted to put it in there just because it was the only other Twitter one I could find and that, that's the subject for today. So thanks for watching everybody and I please encourage you to uh, visit my ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog each week on Wednesday for the Windows Phone 7 Wednesday post. And uh, I think in the future one we'll have this Alpha Jacks game. And I'll just kind of show you. I talked about Bringcast last week. Lots of games, that's for sure. And um, that's the Fit One in the Mundo I talked about before 100 push ups, and Slacker Radio, Netflix, things like that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good night.